I haven't been here for a long time. Ooh. Oh, nice. She was. She returned to the old hag. Uh, clothes. Okay, that's no time to waste. We are here to kill you, you know. And so you return. Yes. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Mm hmm. You know, it's a secret. <laughs> Which one, I wonder? Hmm. What has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? Why should I say? What's the point? Yeah. How true. So says the shoe to the foot, and the foot to the leg. We move as one, whether we like it or not. Hmm. But if I am to guess, I would say Morrigan has discovered something. Something shocking that requires her defense, yes? Right. Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Hmm. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? Now, there is a particular interesting thing. We need Morrigan, that's for sure. We can try to lie to her. Ah, no one says that I have to kill Flemeth. As long as Morrigan is not here, she can't... There is no way she can tell, really what happened here. At least that's what we see. Considering Selinia and her way of thinking about pragmatic pragmatically thinking, what is better to have one hag living or two hags living? If two hags are living, Flemeth will have some sort of a Depth, 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 yeah, to me, because I allowed her to live. <laughs> I need Morrigan on the other hand, but it is quite possible that Morrigan will betray me as well as you will betray me. So, what we do now? What do you propose? Why not? Let's just hear what you can say. Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. Mm -hmm. Considering the fact that the linea has coercion on the highest point, we can try this. Look, oh, well, I can always go back and load. And what happens to you? I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day. Or I may simply watch. Right. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening, even. Would you give an old woman that? Whew. I think she will believe that. Oh, we'll see. We believe what we want to believe. It's all we ever do. <laughs> what do I get out of it? <laughs> you get to keep her for a time. Yeah, and I believe that would be the most promising solution. We go with Morrigan, and we have her. Later on that will also benefit her, I think. And you are alive, and probably you will... Look, what we know about Flemeth is that she might not be the best, the, the, the greatest of the honor, honorable beings in Dragon Age world, but she is also not a stupid person. And she might remember what we did. I could do that. It's far easier this way, don't you think? The lies are always more fun. <laughs> yes, fun. Tricking Morgan. Oh, who am I kidding? That does sound fun. I'm a bad man. <laughs> Alistair. Look, inside the hut, with notes and spells enough to make even Morgan blush with delight. <laughs> you and I will not meet again. That I guarantee. Oh. Know that. Why not? Let's try this. We use the key, we go inside, we take things, we go to Morgan, we tell her Your mother is dead. I killed her. 
whether you believe me or not, we'll see that. But c considering the fact that I have coercion on the highest level, I'm quite sure that it's quite obvious that uh, she will believe me. Or she will believe Talinia. I will. I have to try not to impersonate myself with with my heroes. <laughs> and here we are. What's this? Oh, move people. The chest. Of course. Robes of possession. That's. <laughs> These robes are funny. They can be only used by Morrigan. Now we go out. And Flana is already. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> All right. We don't kill ya then. And it's also quite possible that we won't meet. Now we go yes! And we go to the camp. Or rather go first to Red Cliff. No. Camp it is. Oh. What's this? We're already confronted with Morrigan. Alright. Mm. I hope I can tell her that the hag is dead. Because if not, we have a you problem. You have returned from the wilds, alive. What news have you? Uh, your dirty work is done. Flemeth is dead. You're free. No, number one. Flemeth is dead. You're free. Dead. You actually managed it. I barely dared to hope it was even possible. Mm -hmm. And the real grimoire. Did you find it? Uh, yes, here it is. And so here it is. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And thank you for helping me. No one has ever. Thank you. <laughs> ah, can we go back to business now? You're welcome. Difficult to say, is it? Perhaps a little, but it is honestly meant. Mm hmm. Right, plus four, and we ma I managed to trick ya! <laughs> right, who's next? Who's next? Now we go to Redcliffe. I still have some recording space, so we can quite easily do it. A five. And let's go revive the Arl. Well, anyway, everyone will join us, I think. Traditional, or maybe not. Liliana, why not? Indeed. And we go accept. And we go. Oh, no, 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 no. First. We go Morrigan. Where are ya? Whoa, you're friendly to me, aren't ya? <laughs> Robes of possession. Plus two magic, plus five defense, plus eight spell resistance, minus one willpower. 20 cold damage. But we don't. Yeah, we deal cold damage. Great! And you look just the same. <laughs> I liked this one, but we don't really need it now. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. And Morgan is back to her old self. And we go with this. And we go to Redcliffe Village first. There might be something interesting there. And we can also find some fight again, but... No. Alright. Seems there will be no fighting this time. And then Redcliffe Castle. Loading screen. And we see that half of the Ferelden on the map is already controlled by the Blight. First, level up you, Liliana. 32 and maybe strength 20, that might be useful. Uh, one point to stealing then. Or no. Ah, okay. Let's go. One point to stealing. Stained Captive Song. The bard uh, begins an enthralling song that stuns hostile targets. Or we can go. Something for here. Maybe summon bear. No, let's go this. And where this goes? Here. Alright. Now, can we. Go. Oh, it seems nothing here. Then we go to Redcliffe Castle, but through the gate. Oh, it's anyway, it's the world map. 
Well, never mind. We will revive our Eamon and that will be probably the end of the recording. But first, do you have something to move? No? Alright. Ah, that was not necessary, to be honest. So I, shall. I just use the quick save very often. And generally, my experience by playing games, so. Never you mind. See, half of the Ferelden is covered by blight. Doesn't look good. Only Brazilian forest is more or less still free. But, poof! Central Ferelden lost. Alright. Um. Oh! These dead people are still here. <laughs> Never mind. We go inside. Ooh, at least some guards. Finally. Lovely. And finally, I will find out what is, what are the consequences of not giving, of, of uh, destroying the village. What are the consequences here? All right. Now a permanent save would be nice. And we speak with Pantigan. You return. Might you have news? What is our human condition? Unchanged, I'm afraid. That's good. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, Eamon's night then. Yes, but they are returning slowly. No doubt the war's progress, as well as the Darkspawns, hinders many of them. But I have some good news for you, man. We have found the urn! You have? Wonderful! Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Great! And another loading screen. But this time I will, this one should be shorter. So I will not cut the video, there is no point. Now Eamon gets well. This is the, uh, you get the specialization champion. And if you first time go through this, because Eamon will give you the specialization as a reward. He will tell you that you are Redcliffe's champion. That happens when you save the village. I have no idea if that will happen uh, now. Because in the dialogue it should be. But as you guys already see, I have the, the, the specialization unlocked. And here we go. We go. Mm -hmm. Isolde is here. And some bad news, man. Your son is dead. And the blonde lady killed him. <laughs> Works. He's alive. It's alive. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Mm -hmm. Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here. My husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? Oh. He... He is dead. Connor is dead. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Mm-hmm. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. He is a type of guy... Generally, he, he seems to be a type of guy who is more concerned about the country as well, you know. Uh, um, a state person. I don't remember what's equivalent. Okay. Oh, Alistair is here with us. This is most troubling. Mm -hmm. As you can see... There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Mm -hmm. Grey Warden... I know you did what you had to. I grieve for my son, but I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. Mm -hmm. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Uh, whatever reward. Yeah. <sighs> I need no reward. No, I'd like that. I won't object. Generally, anything that you can give us will be helpful, I think. Then allow me to declare you mm -hmm. and those traveling with you 
champions of Redcliffe. So we get the specialization. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. Great. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Right, good. But I doubt that the shield is <laughs> as good. <clears throat> I doubt that the shield is as good as we could hope uh, to be. <sighs> Thank you, Your Grace. Or rather, there is much else to do now. Yep. Indeed. We have no way of knowing what Loghain will do once he learns of your recovery. Mm hmm. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Problems. Long I have known him. He is a sensible man. One who never desired power. And he's rather right. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Kalen to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. Yeah, and it means we have a problem, and with this conversation we'll find out what happens. You can unite the nobility, can't you? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. Not good. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. You're right. Then Loghain must capitulate then. I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes. But our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. Yes. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Yep. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Mm-hmm. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? Oh, yeah. I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. <laughs> Alistair would be a terrible king. You intend to put Alistair as a king. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. Yep. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? Shut up. You have a responsibility, Alistair. Oh, you have. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. Mm -hmm. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. Yep. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then all the right. the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Ah, yes, and that means that Telinia's position is going much, much higher. Ah, all right, my blessing. Why do you need my blessing? None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. Ooh. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the landsmeet. But I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. Hmm, that might be possible. Would it be easier to simply kill Loghain? I'm not sure that would help our cause. We would become the criminals, and our accusations would become excuses. <laughs> Furthermore, I'm not even certain where Loghain might be. That's a problem as well. What's stopping Loghain from just attacking Gratcliffe? Why do you think he had me poisoned? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. He wanted right. me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. Nice move. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. But you're alive, and that's good. What are my options then? You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the landsmeet is our best option. Mm -hmm. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain, but even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? Probably not. No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. 
we have to do the same. Everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him, so that he leads us against the Horde. Yeah. Oof. And by the way, if you don't do Brazilian Forest or any of these Allied Treaties things, things uh, Allied Treaties quests before this, uh, after this dialogue, you can go and complete this, then go back to Redcliffe and start the Landsmeet. But I already did all of the things that we need to do before the Landsmeet, but do you think the Landsmeet is... That depends. Yeah. If we cannot get a consensus in the Landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Mm -hmm. There's also a possibility. Then Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king? Who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. <laughs> What if we support... No, no, that's not an option. <laughs> what about the Darkspawn? Ferelden must stand united to defeat the Darkspawn. A fractured nation will not defeat the Blight, even given my army and those gathered with your treaties. <laughs> not good. Then we have no choice. Very well. I will send out the word. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. Yeah. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Yeah, we can go already. And I believe... We have a lot of things to do in Denerim. There is... and we can just go there with, with no... without any problem now. Thinking, do I have any quest that I should end before that? Quest that I should do. Some of them I can also do after the lands meet. Ah. No, no, no. It seems I still have some recording space, so I can quite easily go with the beginning of the lands meet as well. Rather, not the beginning of the whole lands meet, but uh, there's also uh, we. Yeah, I think we go to Denerim. Let's go to Denerim now. It seems we have no. Uh, I doubt that I can be better prepared. So let's go to Denerim now. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Yes. Now the problem is... Uh, I don't know if that's really a problem. But uh, I hope I can boost up Alistair's approval before uh, the lands meet in general. Uh, and do his personal quest because I have to do it if I want to lands meet to be done as I would like to see it because I would like to see either because there is a problem there's only one option and I and I haven't done that option with any of my playthroughs where either with Logan and Alistair live after the land meet and I want that option and to do that option I have to boost up Alistair's approval I still have... I will give some gifts to him as well, but I think a big number of things will go if I give him the Duncan shield. But to do that, I need Riordan, and to do that, I need... Ah, oh, damn. It's so long. But it should be possible to do. Because... and that's a little gamble from my part. Yes, it is. Because I will have to... Well, I will not tell you all the things. I hope that it will work. Because if not, uh, then it's not that great. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and right. as good to have on your side. And we will try to do it. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. Ah. By calling the lands meet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself to oppose oh, us. Courageous. He comes himself. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Ah. Mm. Logan, this is an honor, but the <laughs> regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? Mm -hmm. The blight is why I'm here. 
With Kaelin dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen. And I lead her armies. Ooh. First of all, this dialogue shows a group of people who are really important. We have Catrian, the woman standing uh, beside Loghain. Now we don't see her really well. Randon Howe on the first, on our right, far to the right. This guy is a one piece of a snake. And we'll have, there should be some nice thing with him. <laughs> of course, there's Loghain and me supporting our even. <laughs> The throne belongs to the Mark's only living son. I think this one is uh, okay. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. Oh. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It was your fault. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. No. <laughs> and does the land... No, 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 no. Uh, I don't accept the sympathies of deserters and... Regicides. Yeah. <laughs> you should curb your tongue. Really? This is my city and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. We'll see about that. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Really? Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Ooh. Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. <sighs> How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate <laughs> fate at Why doing? Dinner, the Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. Oh... Uh, oh, 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 number one. So, you're the one who butchered my kin. Hm. Or uh, I can also go, that's a lot of titles for one man. <laughs> Bootlicking appears to be profitable these days. <laughs> number three is nice, but, um, let's go. So, you're the one who butchered my kin. When the animals turn against their masters, oh. it is sometimes necessary to cull the herd. I'm starting to be... Oh. Oh. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Even considering Talinia that she is an opportunist and rather pragmatical person, and I, was, uh, and I think she she is now. This guy deserves to die here and now. And he will die. Yeah. Uh, I can over here and say that... Uh, Shem? Oh, Shem. Oh, <laughs> look, the regent owners owns a talking ass. <laughs> Are we going to enjoy cutting your throat? Number three or one? Let's say one. Look, the regent owns a talking ass. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. What? Enough, Castrian. This is not the time or place. Ah, oh, I should have gone with the other one. I have you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. Really? We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? Mm -hmm. You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. Really? What efforts can there be when you outlaw the Grey Wardens? Kalen depended on the Grey Wardens' prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. We'll see that. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Oh, right. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Mm -hmm. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Mm -hmm. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. That's a very important line. Because it defines him perfectly. Uh huh. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Neither do I. 
Uh, what do we do now? Why is he doing this? Hmm. That's a tree. Do you know him a long time? My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. Right. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy. Mm -hmm. He got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. And he is doing that still. When you... We will see what is his uh, agenda later on, I hope. You sound like you admire him. Now he kills Merrick's son and steals his throne. <sighs> During the Elysian occupation. No, that's it. Sounds like you admire him. He made us a free people once more. You can't know what it was like to grow up as a vassal in your own land, while punsy little Olesians minced around in their silks. Mm -hmm. I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. And he's still doing he that. eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Yep. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. That's important. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmate then. Mm hmm. And here we are. We are in the Earl of Eamon. Our Eamon estate. However, the lands meet quest level up. So we do this first. Ah, uh, seventeen. No points. Oh, what the hell? Then uh, why do I have one point? Then hmm, might have been. I might have been given that one. We can go weapons and shield more because I still don't have the master combat training. And that means we go superiority. Champion is so fearsome that the war cry knocks down opponents unless they go with the physical resistance check. And this place is quite big, uh, and we can go outside to the merchant districts. There's Ogren, Zevran, Liliana here. Shale is standing there. Morgan is probably in my room. Or Talinia's room. Nice. Generally a nice looking place. And that is probably all for now. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will have a little pain in the ass with those cutscenes because they were cut it in a few places and I had to record them again and again and again. So a little compiling. Oh, who are you? Oh, just a maid. Uh, but before we go, we have the lands meet, and we have to prepare for that. Some nice quest before us. But first, we will probably go around and speak with people. Thanks for watching.